Welcome back to Big Box Cooks and I'm making some chicken and waffles today and as you can see I already seasoned up the chicken because I didn't have time I wanted to marinate overnight 24 hours and I did that I put I'll give you the link of everything I put in it later and I, right now we're gonna make some uh, waffles with instant Aunt Jemima waffle mix put that in there basically get you some water Dustly, and then you stir up, stir, and hopefully it's an even combination because I might have put a little too much water, but that can always be solved once you put more pancake batter mix in, and I think that might be the case. First time using this waffle maker, and uh, I said let me use it because uh. I got a homemade waffle recipe. I just haven't used it during the next time I'll do a, a video. I will definitely show you that. But you got to be dusty. You can't use too much of this stuff. Hold on. There we go. If you want it to spread out, but you don't put too much in there. Because if you do, it'll overflow. And you don't want that. Just make sure the corners, everything get covered, basically. And then you close it up. There we go. We give it some time. Let that crisp up real good. Then I'll show you how I'm going to season the, the flour with that I'm going to use for the fried chicken. Because this is, is a family recipe my mother gave me. And she told me not to give it out. But uh, that might be the problem. We'll work that out. So uh, I'm going to fry that up. It's going to be golden. And it's going to be perfect with these waffles. And we're going to let you see this all happen in a little while. Now we're going to put a half a cup of flour. And let me eyeball it with this. Probably a half a cup of cornstarch. And we're going to blend that together. So we can fry this chicken in there. So I can get this chicken seasoned. There we go. My chicken is seasoned enough, so I really don't need to add nothing to the flour. But I see brothers doing it all the time, but uh, they don't have the flavor I have, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Okay, we're going to get four wings and uh, two legs. So about two wings and two legs. Let me mix that up. Well, I'm about to load up my basket. I don't want to overload it because you don't want it to cook unevenly. You want everything to cook at a, a, a exact temperature. You don't want to overload it because then the chicken comes out soggy and you don't want no soggy chicken. Trust me on that one. So I'm only going to put these pieces in there. And uh, there we go. Let me lower the basket down. But you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have to lower it down. There we go. Be careful, you're supposed to wear rubber gloves, but I've been doing this for years, so I'm kind of used to it. But um, we're going to cook it for no longer than 15 to 17 minutes, maybe. And that's it. complete success and for safety reasons I don't want no children and all ready to know that they must use a rubber glove look at that golden goodness right there let that sit right there and then before you know it look at that that's what I'm talking about let it sit there a couple of minutes and then I take it out the basket put it on the wire wire rack and then I'll let it drain a little more. And then we got some golden goodness right there. That's the real fried chicken. I got a recipe that I'm gonna definitely give to you, but uh, at a later date, 
But uh, cause this is a family recipe that uh, it wasn't supposed to be given out, but uh, maybe it'll work something out. Just to my YouTube family. They're not puppies looking for me. Look at that. Oh, it cooked all the way through to the bone. Look at that. That's that southern fry. My mother from South Carolina, she gave me this recipe. And uh, it been working since I left home when I was fifth, well, 16. I've been cooking this chicken. And it never fails. People always say, what is in it? And I've not devoured the secret yet, but uh, I don't know. It's off the chain, try baby. A little of this Auntie Mama syrup in there. Put that drizzle in there real good. Let me get a bite of this chicken real quick. Ooh, look at that. Golden goodness. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. The chicken was super califrastic, espialidocious, and I recommend you season it and make sure it marinate overnight because it was so delicious. But now I'm about to try the waffle part. Okay, this waffle isn't as crunchy as I thought it would be. But let's see how the flavor is. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's hitting. It's definitely a great combination there. Oh, they do the trick. But next time, I'm going to make my waffles from scratch. It was epic again. It was better than I thought it would be. But the chicken, I always make the best fried chicken. Because my people from South Carolina and North Carolina, so we know what we're doing for decades. I've been holding recipes back. But um, enjoy this. I might give the link of how to make the chicken and everything. So just keep looking out for me and uh, give me a thumbs up. And God bless you. And this is it.